Ladies and gentlemen, you can have the committee of the ISSF welcome the course year 2022. And the ISSF welcome you at the first semi-final semi of the skip main event. The four athletes of the first semi-final will proceed for the shoot-off. And then we will present the target. Welcome uh, to the ISSF World Cup Shotgun in Nicosia, Cyprus. We're at the Olympic shooting range in uh, Nicosia, getting ready for the second final of the day. We just finished with the women's finals, and now we're starting with the men's final. It's going to be two relays where two of the finalists are going in uh, to the medal match from each of the relay. I think the wind yeah, is uh, okay. starting to be a little bit less than it was throughout the well, day, and it's 11 minutes. degrees Celsius, so it's uh, well, not as warm as we're here. used to here in yeah, Cyprus, Nicosia. but uh, at least the sun is out, so it can warm the finalists at least a little bit. We're in Nicosia, the largest city, capital of Cyprus and uh, on a beautiful shooting range here everything is green around us the center of Cyprus it's the first day of skeet competitions the last three days were only trap and uh, the next two days will be skeet as well The athletes, the finalists, are ready to begin with the first relay. We have uh, one Italian representative, one French, one from Denmark, and one from Czech Republic. These four representatives the four athletes of the semifinal. competing for their place in the medal match. In position number four, with beat number number seven, representing Czech Republic, Jan Zamaznik. First of all, coming out from Czech Republic, Jan In position number three, Zamaznik. With beat number number five, representing Denmark, competing for Peter his Hansen. Place in the medal match. Then we have from Denmark, uh, Jasper Hansen. With the beat number number three, representing France, Eric Delaunay. Next up is the French representative. And in position number one, Eric Delaunay. Beat number also number one, representing Italy, Camaro Cassandro. And uh, Camaro Cassandro from Italy. The jury Coming member in charge well. for the first semi final, Mr. Yannis Hirakleus from Cyprus. And the referee, Mr. Pierre Courtois from France. We have uh, the officials conducting the finals. Good luck to all athletes. 
Let the first semi-final begin. And we're starting from uh, station number three. That's the first station that they will be shooting from. Uh, Tamara Cassandra from Italy, Eric Dolanay from France, Jasper Hansen from Denmark, and Jan Zamechnik from Czech Republic. First of all, they'll be shooting 20 targets before one of them leaves the finals, and it will be in station three, four targets. Those two doubles, one normal, one reverse. That means high house, low house is the normal, reverse is a low house, high house. It's the way that they have to shoot by the rules. Then on station four, the second station that they'll be shooting from, it's only two targets, and it's a normal double in the first round. And then on station number five, the third station they'll be shooting from, four targets again, two doubles, one normal, one reverse, where the normal double is uh, shooting first the low target, low house target, then the high house target. After the 20 targets, one of the athletes is leaving the finals, and the three that remain will continue with the next 10 targets when uh, we will have the decision of who are the two going into the medal match. We have not had a miss yet by Cassandro or Delnay, as well as Hansen now, hitting both high house target and the low house target. Let's see if he can uh, do the perfect four like Cassandra and Delaney. And he does. Coming to Zamechnik, the youngest of the four. He's 25. And... Uh, He's the only one with a miss so far. Three. Actually, three Tomorrow misses in a row. Not a very good start for the Czech Republic representative. Next station, here they have only one double. It's the normal double. Oh. Calling of the target. And a few seconds pass, and uh, the targets come out of the high house and the low house. And uh, differently from Trap, the Skeet competitors, finalists, shoot. Two targets at a time. The speed in which the targets fly out in trap is 80 kilometers per hour, and in skeet it's a bit less than that. They're not flying out as fast as in trap. And these two dif disciplines are similar, but... Uh, Very different at the same time. Zamechnik again with a with a miss, the only one in the first uh, station, actual station number three, and he had one miss in station number four. We're coming to the last station of the first round of the first ten targets. Now the normal double is first low house, then high house. And the reverse double is high house, low house. Oh. This is Cassandra's first miss. And it uh, seems like we're having a bit of a technical difficulties with the broadcast with the big oh. 
It's back now. Hopefully it will stay this way. Delaney's first to miss as well. Cassandro and uh, Delaney are tied now. Hansen has a chance to take the lead. Just two more hits. And the reverse double, which means now high house target first, then low house target. He hits both of the targets and takes the lead. Zamichnik. He's not in a really good position. He only had two hits so far, and now he's coming to a total of four. We'll see if he'll be able to get out of this uh, situation. Uh, the third target, Jesper Hansen, is leading with no miss. Tamara Fasandron and Eric Delaney with nine hits. Jan Janus Menig with six hits. Right after so ten targets, play. Hansen in the lead. With ten hits, he had not had a miss yet. Cassandro and Delaney tied. And uh, Zamechnik holding the last place so far. One more round. Bravo. Cassandro continuing on. It's a uh, a really good score. Delaney needs two more hits now to tie with Cassandro, not to be left behind. And uh, he does coming to a total of 13 hits. Hansen still not missing any of the targets. Nice. Keeping his lead in the finals. It's really questionable if Zamechnik will be able to hold his position in the finals and stay. Did have yes, one more miss again, no miss. while Cassandra Delaney and Hansen and had no misses in the in station three number three. Done. So now this is the reverse double. First low house, then high house target. And Cassandra and Delaney both uh, went easily through this station. Hansen now missed one. So he tied with Cassandro Dolone. And uh, Zamechnik now Tomorrow came to a total of 11 hits. But uh, it's not looking probable for him to stay in the finals.
last station. And Cassandra finishing off with 19 hits out of 20 targets. Let's see if Delaney can do the same. He has two more targets. And it looks like he missed both of the targets. Hansen also had a miss, which means that Cassandro takes the lead now. He did a very satisfying final so far and uh, this is going to be it for Zamichnik no matter what are the hits now there is no possibility for him to stay in the finals he just had too many misses And unfortunately, he does not get to go into the medal match. So Jan Zamichnik, Czech Republic, uh, takes the fourth place. And, uh, now we have three left. Tamara Cassandro, Jasper Hansen, and Eric Delaney. Delaney had the last two misses on the last uh, station, which cost him a bit, and he fell into the third place now. Cassandro is... Uh, Continuing strongly, even though he had one miss, it's still a really, really good uh, result to have 22 hits after 24 targets. No one can, uh, can tie with him in this moment. So he is in a good position. If he continues in this way, he has a place in the medal match. Only if Hansen now hits two more targets, will he be able to tie with Cassandro. And he does, the coming to a tie hits. with Cassandro. Equal with 22 hits. A 22 and hits by both hits. of these uh, finalists. Delaney is on the line with uh, only one hit less. So we'll just have to wait and see. Bravo. All right, two hits by Cassandro. Mm, Delaney was missed one more. It's a... Uh, Let's see what they think. It's, it looked like maybe it could have been a hit, but I'm sure they're going to ask for VAR here. And yes, they do. Asking for VAR for Hansen. It is really important to be sure in all of the hits. 
to the Denmark representative. We are waiting for the confirmation of the result from, of the process. From Denmark. From the VAR. We're going to have to see what this Olympic silver medalist from last year did in the last two targets. One was a hit, that's sure. The question is about the second one. Var says it's a miss. It's a miss for this Olympic silver medalist. So after 26 targets, and uh, with world champion, with 23 and Eric with back uh, 2013. We're coming to the last station, and uh, Delaney is one hit behind. He won the World Cup back in uh, silver medal back in 2019. Let's see if he can save his place now to go into the medal match. Cassandro, definitely the best one so far in the finals. He's been shooting since 2007 and the winning the World Cup in Osijek last year. He seems very determined to do the same today. Since out of 30 targets, he had 27 hits. Delaney came to 26 hits and it depends now on Hansen and what happens here Hansen hits the two targets two more and he's safe There was no target. Two more and there's no question about it. I think there is a bit of a technical issue with the targets, but uh, Hansen is coming back to try again. And he Missed one target, uh, coming to a total of 26 hits, same as Delaney. Which means Cassandro is safe, he's going into the medal match. And uh, Hansen and Delaney are now going to have to go through a shoot-off. Okay, a few more moments before the shoot-off, just so the athletes can uh, prepare themselves for this part because it's not a part of uh, the regular part of the finals it's a shoot off so a few more moments and we get to see who between these two are going in the finals and uh, the medal match. <laughs> and Delaney starts with two hits. 
Hansen now. They're shooting two by two. First shooting the normal double. They both hit the targets. Going back to... The reverse double now, and I think... It's both hits, so it's no no need for VAR. Delaney hit all four targets. It's up to Hansen now. He needs to hit to qualify. And it's one miss for Hansen. Which means uh, his finals is over. And unfortunately, he's not going to be going in the medal match, but uh, Delaney has a reason to celebrate now, at least before coming to the medal match where he's get, he gets to try out for bronze, silver or gold medal. He's the one who gets the chance to be on the podium. We will continue with the second semi-final, Tomato Cassandro from Italy with 27 hits in the end. It was just one hit of a difference between Cassandra and Delaney and Hansen. And the uh, shoot-off made it clear the French representative is going into the medal match. The first relay is over. We have the first two names going into the medal match and... Uh, Getting ready now for second relay, where we will have uh, a representative from Egypt, then a representative from United Arab Emirates, and a represent and two representatives actually from Finland. So stay with us to find out who are the two competing for the medals alongside Tamara Cassandro and Derek uh, Delaney. It's a beautiful sports kit. Comment, who are you rooting for? In the finals, we already have the first two names going in. First two finalists. And the second relay, we're just uh, going to give us the two. More finalists going into the medal match. It's uh, just a few moments away. The second semi final of the skid man event. We start in a We will go uh, into the second relay as soon as possible, but before that, uh, let's see a di director's cut of. Uh, the shooting community and uh, the environment and nature. Nature is the world around us. We as human beings depend on it, so we must protect it and take care of our nature that provides us more than just beauty, but life as well. In the shooting sport, the materials used are recyclable it is important if we want to preserve the environment. Competition and training take place outdoors, so the shooting sport community is in touch with nature every day. Athletes are encouraged from an early age to be attentive when dealing with the environment. The shooting sport community is seriously committed to keep mother nature clean, as well as to recycle 
all materials that are used in training and competition. Let's hold each other accountable and help Earth become a clean and healthy place again. All right, getting ready for Relay 2. The athletes are doing some test fire. As I said, one representative from Egypt, one from United Arab Emirates, and two from Finland will be competing with in their, for their place in the medal match. That will be right after this uh, second relay. First one was very interesting. In the end, we even had a shoot-off. That was the first shoot-off of the day. We'll see if these four get to settle everything without a shoot-off. <laughs> so once again, starting from zero, these four finalists are going to be shooting 20 targets first. Four targets, station three, two targets, station four, four targets, station five, twice. After which we'll have the decision of who is definitely not in the medal match. Finally, we have some uh, spectators, I think, that uh, says that the wind is a bit lighter now than it was. And it's a bit easier being outside, but it's uh, vividly cold, as we can see. Everybody is kind of uh, trying to warm themselves, but loving this sport. We want to see what happens. Thankfully, we also have this broadcast so that uh, everyone interested all over the world gets to see it as well. With pip number number eight, representing Finland, Larry Pesonen. First uh, athlete coming out number three, with pip number number from six, Finland, Larry Pesonen. This 27 year old. In position number two. Then from the United Arab number Emirates, Saif bin Futais. A 48-year-old still in the top in one, of the shooting number sport. Number Etu Kalyonen. I think he's the youngest one here, 23. Do you remember in charge for this semifinal? 
Mr. Yannis Irakleos. And then uh, coming in from Egypt, Azmi Mehelba. Yannis Irakleos uh, from Cyprus will be the jury in charge of this finals. And uh, Loisu from Cyprus as well will be the referee. So Egypt, Finland and United Arab Emirates uh, competing for their place in the medal match. Asbi Behelbay, Tukalionen, Saif Bin Futais and Lari Pesonen. Starting on station number three with four targets, two normal. So a normal double, which is target from the high house, first being shot, then target from the low house. And then we have the reverse double, which is first shooting low house target, then the high house target. In station number three. We're going to start now, as it seems, with uh, with the Mehelba shooting first and uh, hitting both of the targets in the normal double. Finishing off with a perfect, uh, perfect series. Now, Kalionen, as I said, the youngest one who placed fourth at the Olympics in Tokyo last year. So hopefully he'll have more luck in this uh, competition. First miss of relay to Kalionen's last last target Ben Futais World Cup winner from 2015 in Larnaca that is uh, another shooting range here in Cyprus. As we can imagine, it's always a nice, it's always nice weather here. So it's a uh, very good for, for shooting trap and skit. This time it's a bit different with all of the wind, but still a beautiful scenery. Uh -huh. uh, Nevertheless. Pesonen started with uh, two hits. Let's see now with the reverse double. He hits both of the targets. The, the only miss was by Kalionen, the youngest one here, which uh, could kind of show that, you know, experience means a lot. In, uh, in life, in sports, especially in the sport where it's... Uh, it's possible to have a career for a long time, more than uh, most of the sports. It's not uh, damaging. It's actually doing, uh, doing good for mental strengthening as well as uh, good physical health because these athletes are not just shooting. They're also doing different kinds of exercises so that they keep... Uh, fit and keep themselves well to be able to endure these competitions. 
You can imagine uh, flying all over the world, shooting in different shooting ranges. It could take out of from the person, so they need to have a lot of strength, both mental and physical, to be able to to do what they do and show off these marvelous skills. And uh, and the beautiful beautiful discipline that Skeet is. So always shooting two targets. Now we're coming to the fifth station. To finish with the first ten targets. So here the n the normal double is shooting first the low house target, then the high house target, and the reverse oh. double is high house target, low house target. And I think he had one miss. Yes. Now for the rear, I think he's gonna ask for VAR. Maybe let's just give it a give it a moment. Helba thinks it's a hit. So let's see now. The VAR is going to decide. Well, the referees looking at the VAR are going to decide. The jury in charge with the referee uh, the VAR. We're watching at the official the review. That's the target right there. And uh, I think the decision was uh, very fast. Uh, the the referee is going to come out now. To let us know the decision is a hit. <laughs> the decision is a hit, so it's a good thing Mahel asked for a VAR. He was sure that this was a hit. He's coming now to shoot the reverse double in the fifth station. That means he'll be shooting the high house target first. And the low house target. Oh. He hit only the low house target. But it's a good score coming to a total of 10 targets. He hits 9. Which is not a bad result. Two more hits for Kalyonen and he'll be one hit behind the help up if he manages to do so, but uh, he missed one. So he is uh, two hits behind Mehelba. Good thing uh, there's ten more targets after this round. So Kalonen will still have a few more chances. To stay in uh, the finals and go to the medal match. But as I said, he is the youngest one. And it's uh, always a good experience to compete next to such a strong competition as these, uh, these finalists here are. Pesonen. Last one on the last station. One hit, one miss by this 27-year-old. 
who started competing back in 2010. He has been already competing 12 years, and that's uh, not that uh, long of a career in, in shooting sports. Uh, especially having someone as Saif Bin Futais who has been competing since 1999. That's 23 years ago. One miss here in the first station, and as we can see in uh, this total picture, we have a few smushes on on the camera from the pink from the pink powder flying through the air because of the wind. So it's a. Uh, Twelve total for Mehelba, ten total for Kalyonen. Fute is coming to a total of twelve as well. And uh, we're gonna see now for Pesanen on this uh, station number three, first station of the second round. Two more hits, and he could be in the lead. And he manages to do exactly that. The representative from Finland took over the lead with 13 hits total. Helba and Ben Futais are tied now with uh, both having 12 hits. And Kalyonen uh, is in the last place currently. With 10 hits. It is the reverse double now on the middle station. And these uh, finalists are not just fighting the finals, they're also fighting the wind. They were all successful in this middle station so far. And the only miss is by Pesonen. Pesonen coming to a total of 14, which means uh, three of the finalists are actually tied after 16 targets. We have a uh, the last station, the fifth station, to decide about one of the finalists leaving the finals. And so far it looks like Kalyonen might be the one who has to leave first, the youngest one in the finals. He is uh, two hits behind the rest of them. And Mahelba now had a perfect series.
Italian in as well. You can now only count on someone else's misses. maybe try and stay but uh, we're going to see we still have two more finalists to finish the station one miss by Binfodes and one more miss And we're going to see what happens with these two that tied. Pesonen uh, hits the two targets. I think he missed these two. And now we have three ties. Kalionen, uh, Binfutais and Pesoson, Pesonen, but uh, because he had the highest bib number, he's the one to first leave, and he was in such a great position. He could have stayed, but see, just the smallest mistake, and unfortunately, he fell out of the finals. The Finnish representative, Lari Pesonen, will not be continuing with the finals, but the three remaining have ten more targets before the decision of who are the two going into the medal match. Oh. Help by starting with the perfect finish of the station number three. Kalyonen. It was not looking good for him, but uh, in the end, look, he stayed. So far, he still has a chance. And uh, with this, he's just... He's just increasing his chances with this perfect uh, four hits that he just had. Infotis can uh, tie with Kalyonen now. So we saw a shoot-off in the last relay. It looks like we might have won this one as well, but... Uh, we're going to see now Futez had two misses. And we're going into the middle station, station four. Now it's a normal double again. So first hitting the high house target, then the low house target. But does a good job here. Kalyona now has a chance to. There was no target. Kalyona now has a chance to go into the medal match. Two hits. We're coming to the last station to see who gets to go fight for gold. Currently, Ben Futais is on the third place with 20 targets. 
hit. Kalyonen with 22 targets hit in the second place. And currently leading is Mehelba. Who's also shooting first. With a total of that he had 24, now 26. Now for the reverse double, high house, low house in the last station. One hit, one miss. Yes. That's it, but it's, uh, he can be really pleased. He's going in. He is safe. Going into the medal match. It would be really good for Kalyanen to have at least one more hit so that he can be safe as well. And he does it. This 23-year-old uh, is able to secure his place and try and get to the podium. Bin Futais uh, now for his last station, but uh, it's pretty clear that uh, the two going into the medal match are the Egyptian representative and uh, Finland representative. The one that started off not so good, but uh, then managed to take his place in the medal match. Azmi Mehelba from Egypt qualified to be in the race for gold alongside the two Kalyonen from Finland to go in uh, to the medal match. Stay with us. We'll be right uh, on with the medal match as uh, we just saw the two relays and found out who will be the four in the last part of the finals. I'm going to show us who will be the best at the ISSF World Cup in Nicosia Cyprus 2022 for Shotgun. Happening in this uh, Windy weather that I'm sure everybody will remember very well. And while we wait for the beginning of the medal match, last final of the day, uh, we're going to watch a uh, director's cut about this wonderful discipline, skeet. Skeet shooting discipline, practiced at the Olympics since 1968. Unlike trap, in skeet, the athletes shoot two targets at a time. One coming from the left, called high house target, and one coming from the right, low house target. The targets are made of clay and break easily when hit with a ball shot 
that are precisely examined in equipment control to ensure fair play. Men and women compete in this discipline, cultivating exceptional coordination and concentration to be able to successfully hit both targets one by one in a very limited span of time. The skill requires fast reaction, since athletes have to be able to quickly take the shotgun in position right before aiming and shooting the targets. Skeet, a marvelous discipline challenging both physical and mental abilities. The athletes now have a chance to do some test fire, but there will be no showing of the targets since they went through the targets through the first and the second relay. So just getting ready for the medal match, the thing that we are here for to see who gets to climb the podium and uh, celebrate the victory today. The test fire procedure for the third of the four finalists of the medal match skid We're just a few moments away from the beginning. It's really uh, interesting how, amusingly enough, this sport is the safest in the world, even though the athletes are dealing with the shotguns here. Safety is a big deal in the shooting sport community. And the first thing that every athlete learns is uh, dealing with safety and how to be disciplined. It encourages really discipline and uh, respectful behavior towards uh, 
towards guns as well as other athletes and the whole shooting community. Our athletes are very respectful when it comes to handling guns and they take safety very seriously. Now, uh, coming out first in the medal match at two, Kalionen from Finland. Uh, it's really marvelous how he got in. This young shooter, only 23, he is the youngest one in the medal match. Eric Delaney from France coming out. Uh, and then we have Asmi Mehelba from Egypt, 30-year-old who has been in the shooting sport since 2006, competing. And last but not least, Tamaro Cassandro from Italy, to fight for gold. This is uh, these are the four athletes, the four finalists, the four best ones today at the ISSF World Cup in Shotgun Nicosia in Cyprus 2022. Tamara Cassandra, Azmi Mehelba, Eric Delaney, and Atu Kalionen. We have three, four nations competing for the medals in the last final of the day, the last medal match. Starting off First is Tamara Cassandro. Bravo. And he had uh, three hits. All right. Cassandro is 28 years old. He placed six in the last uh, Olympic Games, but today he seems very, very determined. Gonna see how he does in the finals. Mehelba. <laughs> Mehelba doing nicely in the first station. Delaney asking for VAR. We're only at the first station. The jury in charge together with the referee are in the VAR room to clarify the result of the target. It's the official review. We can see the target. Flying out, we're gonna have to wait for the referee's decision. Let's see what they decided on this one target yeah, from uh, Delaney. It's a hit, the referee says. Good for Delaney for asking for VAR. It is here for a reason. Oh. And uh, with this, he gets the perfect four hits and his in station number three, the first station that they're shooting from. Kalionen, very good for this uh, young athlete who just is at the beginning of his career, even though he has been shooting for a long time, but now he's coming to an age where he can definitely be a good competition. Station number four in the first round means normal double. 
which means first hitting the high house target, then the low house target. Again, we can see the spots on the camera from the pink uh, powder and also on, on everyone's clothes. So it uh, shows us a little bit uh, how the wind is blowing the powder all over the shooting range. One miss by Delaney. Cassandro and Delaney are now tied. Mahelba hadn't had a miss yet. And Kalionen is in the last place. His coach is probably nervous now to see what happens with his athletes. The connection between the, the athletes and the coaches in shooting sports is a very high one. They are not only... here for the physical exercise of, of the of the sport but also have to really deeply know and understand their athletes so they can be able to guide them in the right direction throughout their career because this sport has a lot of uh, mental struggles sometimes, you can say. Mehelba doing very well. He's the only one who hadn't had a miss yet. So far in this uh, last station, station number five, only Cassandro and Mehelba so far had a perfect four hits. Let's see if Kalionen can do the same. Kalion and uh, his coach is going to ask for VAR. The jury in charge with the referee of the is sure that he hit the target. So let's see. A bronze medalist from uh, the European Championship last year in Osijek 2021. Had been uh, winning medals as a junior yet as well. So potentially he has a long and uh, wonderful career ahead. The referees are now reviewing targets. Them flying by. Let's see. Maybe. It looks and like this. This could be a hit. This could be a hit. The referee is coming. All right. Let's see. The decision for Kalionen. Hopefully it's at least one hit. And VAR says... <laughs> it's one hit. Only the second one is hit. 
They say, with 10 hits, Tamaro Casando with one miss, nine hits, Eric Delane with eight hits, and Eto Kalioine with seven hits. So Kalionen came uh, to a total of seven hits. Delane to a total of eight hits. Cassandra nine. And Helba is keeping the lead with ten hits so far. Not one miss. I'm curious to see what he does throughout the rest of the finals. Very nicely. Very nicely done. Good. By Mahel this World Cup winner from last year in Lonato. He won the silver World Cup twice. 2018 and 2016 as well and he already won the bronze here in Nicosia in 2020 now he's uh, determinedly going for the gold as any of these athletes I mean they came So far, they are in the four best at this competition. And now it's still just the decision of who will be the best among these four. Kaliana now has a chance to tie with Delaney. After 14 targets. Tamara and Asmi are equal with the uh, He was successful. Eric and Eto are equal at with 11 hits. We move to station four. But, uh... Bravo. Now we're coming to station number four. It's the middle station. Uh, the reverse double now. Hitting first the low house target, then the high house target. Helba does a great job here, coming to a total of 15. But uh, it's not going to be enough for Kalionen to just be tied with LNA. He needs to have one hit more if he wants to stay in the finals because of his beat number. And he also missed one target now. So his chances are a little bit lower in this moment. They still have to go through... Four more targets. Before one of them leaves the finals. Not having a place on the podium. And, uh, the Finnish coach looks a bit worried now, but uh, it's not lost yet. Cassandro is on a roll here. Out of 20 targets, he only had two misses. Mahelba so far only had one miss. If he hits this reverse double, high house target, low house target. He'll keep his lead, but... Uh, able to shoot only one of the targets so Cassandra and Mahelba are now tied and it looks like it's going to be between uh, Delaney and Kalyonen on which one is staying in the race for gold 
Delaney now had a miss. It's a pretty nerve-wracking moment. Let's see. One more miss for Delaney. Kaliona now needs all four hits. And uh, unfortunately, no. The coach had a had a reaction. He knew it was uh, what's going on here. And uh, after the end of series one and the first twenty packets, Kamal Kasanto and Abdul Mekar are equal. Unfortunately, because of the beep number, he he was so close. But uh, all the rest of competition also affects the finals. So. Kalyan here just needed one more hit. We'll continue to the next 10 targets, the second series. And uh, the Finnish representative got so far in the finals, but in the end, uh, the fourth place is his. He has uh, potentially a long career in front of him, so this is a great success as well. Etu Kalyanen winning the fourth place. And now it, what stays is just a question of gold, silver, and bronze between uh, Tamara Cassandro, Azmi Mehelba, and Eric Delaney. In the next 10 targets, we're going to find out who's the bronze medalist. Again, uh, Delaney is in a position where he needs to have at least one more hit. It's not going to be able, it's not going to be enough for him to tie because it's not a shoot off situation for the bronze medal, only for the gold. Everything else is decided by the beep number, which corresponds to the result of. Qualification and the semifinals. And the Hilba continuing on. Great. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens between Cassandra and the Hilba. Because both of them are tied even now. After 24 targets. And Delaney is the one who is not in the best position. But uh, still, they have six more targets. So we'll see. After the first station of the second series and 24 targets, Tamaro and Azmi are equal with 22 hits, Eric with 18 hits. We continue to station four. Tamara Cassandra ready for station number four, where they only have one double. Bravo. In this case, it's again the normal double, which means the first target he has to shoot, they have to shoot, is coming from the high house, and the second target to shoot is coming from the low house. Nicely done by both Cassandra and Mehelba. Delaney unfortunately lost his After chances with this miss. And it's pretty obvious now who is the bronze medalist. Because uh, Delaney cannot reach these two who are definitely in the race for gold. So far, they had... Only two misses each from the whole finals. So it's an impressive work by these two and I'm really excited to see what happens with the gold medal. It's going to be a battle between 
Cassandro and Mehelba. Mehelba with two more hits could tie with Cassandro again. They have been tied most of the finals. And uh, now they're tied again. Eric Delaney's last four targets before winning the bronze medal at the ISSF World Cup. And Nicosia Cypress, this 34-year-old, is the bronze medalist. And he is definitely in for a celebration today. Because it's a, it's a great thing. Tamara and Azmi still equal with 27 hits out of 30 targets and move to series three. And really valuable, valuable medal as well. Bronze medalist Eric Delaunay from France finishing his finals with 23 hits out of 30 targets. We got to give it out for Cassandra and Mehelba who have only had three misses so far in the finals and now will show us who wins the gold in this competition. That will be maybe remembered as the, the windiest <laughs> shotgun competition in Cyprus. This is a moment uh, that these athletes train for. This is a moment when they have to make sure to be in really good condition with their mental and physical abilities. This is what they train for. These last 10 targets are the deciding and everything can happen in just uh, such, a, such a quick of the station three. Moment and, and see now Mahelba with points. this with one hits. miss is with one behind uh, Cassandro. Now Cassandro needs to take this in and be able to hold the pressure of being in the lead in the race for the gold. The, the, the coach is on his feet, it's starting to be pretty nerve-wracking. I hope I hit both, both of the targets. After station four and 36 targets. I think the last uh, station will decide. Unless, of course, they come to a shoot-off. I would not be surprised, but uh, let's see if they can settle this here on the last station. Without going for the shoot-off. Okay, Cassandro is holding on this final so well. And uh, oof. it's two misses by Cassandro. This is where he is giving the chance to Mahelba. He didn't have two misses in a row throughout the whole finals. That's 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 the pressure. Now he gave a chance to Cassandro to Mahelba. Hits the two targets. Two more, and the gold is his. Come to the last two targets. And it's two hits by Mihelba winning the gold medal here at the ISSF World Cup. 
In Nicosia, Cyprus, uh, he was the determined one from the beginning, and he wins the gold. Asmi Mehelba from Egypt with the last perfect series of four hits in the in the last station. Last year at the World Cup in Lonato, he won the gold as well now here in Nicosia, winning the gold. And uh, Tamaro Cassandro, the Italian representative, wins the silver. He fought a good fight, this 20-year-old. Uh, he won the World Cup in Osijek last year. He has his gold from the World Cup, but... Uh, Today he wins the silver, while Asmi Mehelba gets to celebrate his gold and bring it back to, to Egypt. Asmi Mehelba, the gold medalist, Tamaro Cassandro, silver medalist, and Eric Delaunay, the French representative, winning the bronze at the ISSF World Cup in Shotgun. We get to see these uh, beautiful slow motion shots of, uh, of the targets. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a satisfying feeling when the, when the target is hit. The, the powder, the pink powder goes everywhere since it's, uh, since it's so windy here. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have a little bit of a better situation with the weather. But uh, make sure to come back tomorrow because we have uh, the final for mixed team event for Skeet. Again, the first three days were reserved for Trap. We have uh, three days of Skeet. First day is finished, two more days. Tomorrow is the mixed team event. It's going to start at 3.15 local time. Make sure to come back and uh, continue on watching uh, the athletes compete at this World Cup. That uh, gold shot by Mahelba. So that was it for today. Last finals is finished. Tomorrow, 3.15, we are back with the mixed team event. Come back and support your athletes and uh, make sure to follow the official pages of ISSF on Facebook and Instagram so you can see all of these broadcasts being live to you currently coming from Cyprus.